fourth upgraded Saturn I launch vehicle was ready for launch early during the fourth quarter. However, toward the end of July, checkout at KSC of lunar module components indicated there were problems with the limb ascent and descent stages. During August, it became apparent that these problems would necessitate further testing and possible replacement of components. By the end of the quarter, it was definite that these problems were serious enough to warrant rescheduling of the 204 launch until the first quarter of 1968. The remaining uprated Saturn flight boosters were on or ahead of schedule at the end of the quarter, September 1967. S1B5 was removed from storage in late August and refurbishment was begun. At the end of the quarter, this was 75% complete. However, due to the anticipated slip in the command service module delivery, it is planned to temporarily return this stage to storage. S1B6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 stages were in storage at Chrysler Mashu at the end of the quarter. S1B11 was in pre-static checkout during September and at the end of the quarter was moved to the preparation to ship area. This stage will be shipped to MSFC during the next quarter for static firing tests. S1B12 was in final assembly during this period. Work was progressing satisfactorily and at the end of September all H1 engines had been installed. Work on S-1B stages 13 through 16 included long lead time procurement activity as well as part and component fabrication. The S-4B stages for the remaining uprated Saturn I vehicles were on or ahead of schedule. S-4B stages 205 and 206 were removed from storage at McDonnell Douglas Sacramento Test Center and are undergoing modifications and refurbishment. Stages S4B 207, 208, and 209 are presently in storage, also at Sacramento Test Center. S4B Stage 210 was placed in temporary storage in Tower Number 7 at the McDonnell Douglas Space Systems Center following completion of factory checkout. The S-4B Stage 211 is awaiting shipment to Sacramento Test Center for static firing. In mid-September, S-4B 212, a potential orbital workshop, was removed from Tower No. 6 following completion of factory checkout and placed in storage at the Space Systems Center. This stage will be returned to the insulation chamber for installation of a foil liner and high emissivity coating. At the end of September 1967, status and progress of the remaining uprated Saturn I instrument units were as follows. In early September, IU-205 at IBM Huntsville was removed from storage and modifications started. However, due to rescheduling, the unit was returned to storage before modification was completed, and work on 206 modifications was initiated in late September and is scheduled for completion in mid-November. IU-207 and 208 are presently in storage at IBM Huntsville. IU-209 was in checkout and systems testing. This unit is scheduled for completion of these tests in the next quarter. Installation of components in IU-210 is approximately 70% complete and work is progressing satisfactorily. Completion of assembly is scheduled next quarter. Fabrication of SIU-211 was started this quarter. At the end of the report period, work is progressing satisfactorily. Component parts for instrument unit number 212 are currently being received. Other notable activities during the period of July through September 1967 
included a review of storage aspects of uprated Saturn I stage components, astronaut briefings at manufacturing locations, and continuing orbital workshop activities. A necessary requirement in the uprated Saturn I program is storage. These requirements were anticipated, and stage contractors were directed to make studies of storage requirements for periods of up to 24 months. However, due to program delays, it is now apparent that storage of many stages beyond 24 months will be necessary. Therefore, the uprated Saturn I program office has initiated long-term storage plans to provide the best means of protection of flight hardware for extended periods. A target date for completion and implementation of these plans has been established as the end of the next quarter. The prime astronauts crew and the backup crew for the first manned flight of the uprated Saturn I made working tours of two production centers during the quarter. On July 15th, these astronauts and MSC and MSFC personnel visited the Mishu facility and inspected S-1B-5 and other hardware. On August 15th, they made a working tour of the S-4B activities. The group is scheduled to visit IBM Huntsville operations and MSFC early in the next quarter. Activity on the orbital workshop aspects of the S-4B stage is increasing each report period. Although actual production phases are not scheduled until two or three quarters from now, final design studies on the launch vehicle modifications are presently nearing completion. Orbital workshop activity during this period included study of liner material insulation and high thermal emissivity coating application. Developmental testing of floor grid structure was also accomplished. The objectives of these tests were to determine strength and deflection capabilities as related to the fluid dynamics during stage burn. Also, developmental testing of wall grid specimens was accomplished. Late during the quarter, the S-4B orbital workshop mock-up was shipped to McDonnell Douglas from MSFC for design modifications updating. The mock-up is scheduled for return to MSFC late in the next quarter for further design evaluation. Due to delays experienced with the LEM payload during the quarter, the launch of AS-204 has been rescheduled for early in the first quarter of 1968. Because of design changes to the command service module, the first manned Apollo launch, AS-205, has been delayed until later in 1968. At the close of this quarter, a plan was under study to launch a second lunar module development mission, AS-206, during the second quarter of 1968.